Three, two, one, hello? Three, two, one, hello! hello. Welcome back to... Whatever the show is. <laughs> How many times have you done this? Whatever this show is? Hello, welcome back to... What's safe word? I'm Amp. I'm Miss Christopher. And today... We're doing a bondage tie. What tie is that? Whatever this tie is. <laughs> I don't know, whoever the hell you are. I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Grisper. And today, we're doing another bondage tie. But specifically, what kind of bondage tie? What are you looking at? Nothing. Specifically, a wrist to ankle restraint. You have a joke for that? I have no jokes. <laughs> Daddy never has jokes. Careful, don't hurt yourself. You might sprain your ankle. Uh. Have you ever been just getting down and dirty in the bedroom and you want to hog tie someone, but you then want to try to access their genitals? All of a sudden you're like, oh, I can't get to their ass. Yeah, there's just, there's so many body parts in the way and you can't just cut them off. Safety shears is not for cutting limbs. <laughs> Instead, we're going to show you this lovely angled wrist restraint that'll get your limbs out of the way, but we'll put someone in a nice restrained position, leaving them nice and open. And for today's tie, we're going to be using two lengths of 15 foot rope. What kind of rope should they use? Uh, we like our hemp rope from Twisted Monk. Beyond that, you're gonna need one wheeling bottom. Do we have one? Who's in some appropriately attired gear. Just like that. Much better. Wow. So much more accessible. I totally Ooh. feel like I dream of Jeannie. Didn't Jeannie do it? She did it a different <laughs> way though. She went. Didn't she go? No, that's bewitched. What's the difference? Oh my god. Well, one was a really, really good band in the 90s, and the other one was a. What? The Witch is not a band. Yeah. Say you will, say you will. Say you do what the first part of this tie is going to require you to find the bite of one of your ropes. Let me find the bite of one of our ropes. And that is the very center of the rope. And with that bite, you're going to tie a single column tie around your bottom's arm. Taking our bite, we're going to wrap around our bottom's arms two to three times. And then in the very front, we're gonna do a little gift wrap around, putting our bite underneath all of that rope. And then running our end through that bite is gonna make sure our knot doesn't slip at all and it stays in place. So once you have the knot in place, you're gonna to want to get your bottom down on his stomach on a flat surface like a bed or a table like behind us. Once they're in the proper position, we can go and get their leg up and their arm back Put your leg up and your arm back. Put your leg up and arm back. If they don't do it properly, you have to put your foot down. No, 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 keep your foot up. There we go. Oh my. Making sure our knot is at the very top of the arm here, we're gonna wrap it around our ankle and then back around our wrist, around our ankle until we get almost to the very end of our rope. You can do this two to three times. Making sure that that leg and that arm aren't too tight. How does that feel? Good, but I'm at the end of my rope. Once you've got about a foot and a half left and you're getting near the end of your rope, we're gonna pull that through the middle of your hands and your wrist, creating a nice little loop here. This is almost like a bite. And then we're gonna run our ends the opposite direction through that bite and pulling them through, making a nice tight lock. Once you've pulled through that lock, you might have a few inches left over. Now on the very top, let's do a nice little square knot to lock that in place and make sure he can't untie it with his wrist down there. And there you go. And now that we have one side done, we're gonna go ahead and do the other. So go ahead and get that arm and leg together. And let's tie them down. Oh, you got, so you got some fuzz there. That's, ooh, gross. And there you have it. One tied up daddy, nice and open and exposed. And these limbs are gonna be super secure, but they're not gonna slip, they're not gonna tighten, and he's gonna be just, just fine. It's actually a much more comfortable position than a hog tie too. Plenty of wiggle room for if I want to play with their sides. You're not ticklish? No? <laughs> not at all? <laughs> so I hope you learned something today with this nice simple and easy to do tie. Oh my god, get those toes out of my face. Ooh, when was the last time you like washed your feet? <laughs> It's quite a feat. Suck it. You have no soul. Suck it. He's trying to tell me what to do in this position. Hey. I don't think so. Ah, 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 ah. 
So don't forget, whether you're the one being tied up or the one being gagged because he was being too loud, always have a safe word. And today's safe word is... Ooh. Agreed. <laughs> so don't forget to leave a comment down below of what tie you guys want to see next time. Stay tuned for some fun travel vlogs next week. And we'll see you guys next time on What's a Safe Word. Ooh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm.